Hello there, welcome again to my channel. I'm Munib Siddiqui and I did my bachelor's and master's in computer science and engineering with a particular focus on computer vision. This is Media Pipes series videos. In previous video, I explained how to use Media Pipes face mesh. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Media Pipes hand tracking, including PAM and finger solution. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. That's helping me to make more videos like this. So before jumping into code, let me briefly explain MediaPipe. MediaPipe is a cross-platform framework for processing different uh, medias, including video, image, and audio. If you come to MediaPipe solution, um, if you come to MediaPipe's website, you'll see that MediaPipe offers a uh, variety of solutions, including face detection, face mesh, iris, hands, bows, and many more. MediaPipe supports varieties of platforms like Android, iOS. You can use it uh, either C++ or Python or Java. It's uh, still under development. Therefore, some of the solutions are not available in some of the languages. For example, in Python, we don't have the hair segmentation solution. In and in JavaScript, for example, we don't have the box tracking solution. Still, it's a great tool, and I highly enc encourage you to use it into your project. The core or the greatest feature of MediaPipe is that it is super, super fast. So that means you can run it on your phone, um, on um, CPU, GPU, with a great resolution and FPS. So let's jump into code and see how we can use this time the hands solution of MediaPipe. Of course, if you come to the MediaPipe's hand solution in here, there is a, a detailed documentation about uh, the pipeline of how the hand solution works. It uses pre-trained model. And then um, you have all these um, landmark indexes, which is basically the hands joints, the, the part that the bone that is joined. And we have like 21 landmarks. It works for one hand, two hand, more than two hands. We will come to that in a while. And uh, it is super, super fast. So. Without further ado, let's see how we can run the Python version of hand solution in our project. This is part one of this video. In, in part one, I try to keep it simple and brief to use MediaPipe just to detect the hand landmarks in a static image. And then we see how we can find, uh, detect just an index or the tip of a finger in this video. In the next video, the aim is to extend this and make some um, in interesting application, like how we can control the mouse using our hand or how we can do some hand gesture recognition. We'll start from scratch, create a new environment for MediaPipe and install it. So to create an environment, you first need to install Anaconda and then use the create command of Anaconda and then we say create dash in, and then we give the environment a name. In this case, I will call it media pipe environment. And then we install Python along the um, environment creation. So this one here, we have to write conda create dash in media pipe environment. And then we use Python 3.7. The next step is we have to uh, activate our environment. And inside this environment, we install MediaPipe and OpenCV. So we say conda activate MediaPipe environment. And then we say pip install MediaPipe. And then after installing MediaPipe, you can do that in one command, but just for simplicity, to keep it very simple, I'm trying to uh, use it in two commands, like installing MediaPipe and OpenCV in different commands. So the next step is to install OpenCV. To do so, we say pip install, I guess it's Python OpenCV, 
and the latest OpenCV has some minor problems. I would encourage you to use uh, version 4.5 rather than the latest one, which is uh, version 4.6, I guess. Let's say OpenCV Python. Let me see if this one works. If not, I have to con confirm the version. Okay. So we come and then we choose the version 4.5. This one doesn't matter. Any 4.5 is okay. Yeah, we installed MediaPipe and OpenCV. Let's open up our PyCharm and then set our environment um, interpreter setting to this environment to point to this environment. I have already set up an environment before. If you want to change it, you come to Add Interpreter, Add Local Interpreter, and then come to Conda. And then in, in here, you see, I have this uh, list of environments. So we come to Conda, and then we have this INVS. And inside this INVS, we have the environment that we just created, MediaPipe environment. And if you come to bin, then we use the Python 3. Where is Python 3? Okay, cool, here. We got this set up. Okay. Well, let's check the version that we have installed for the OpenCV and MediaPipe. To check the version, use the special keyword version. First, let's import our MediaPipe as MP and import CV2. Then we say print version of MediaPipe p dot version and then command d if you're on wind uh, mac command d duplicate this line of code if you're on windows control d will duplicate that line of code so we set this for open cv as well and here we say cv2 and then let's run this and see the version that we're working yeah so for the media pipe i'm using version 0.8 you can see that it's still 0 0.8 it's not even one which means that media pipe is still under development and version of opencv is 4.5 the version that i'm using okay let me grab some code from media pipes website first and then uh, we are going to analyze each part of that code all right so we got uh, this piece of code from media pipes website if you look inside the MediaPipe solutions, the drawing utility is used to draw the land landmarks on the image. The drawing style, the second one, is used to give some style, like changing the color or drawing part of it or not. And then this MP hands solution is the module that we're going to work with. So to read an image, the first thing, as uh, probably most of you know, we need to read an image to do so. First, we have to specify path. So I have this image path in the folder called hands image. And then inside that, I have single image path, which I call it image path one, I would say. And then let's just write OS path join so the is OS is not recognized all we need to do is to import this OS module as well and then we come to uh, image path um, so and then we have image name which I have the image in here if I show you, this is image one. This is the image. I'm going to find the landmarks, basically the joints of uh, the joints in this hand, like this point, this point, this point, and this point. These are called the hand landmarks. And then I have the another image just for to to show you that the media pipe is robust enough to work on two hands, and in situations where like this where part of the hand is twisted onto another hand part of it is not uh, clearly visible still the media pipe is robust enough to detect points in here so let's come back 
uh, image one and I'll call it image one dot jpeg. Let me just minimize this back and then I'll say image name to read an image in media pipe. Say I'm cv2 I'm read and then you specify the path which is this path and this will give us the image to visualize it we do cv2 arm show and then we give this uh, windows that visualize the image a name we say is hand one image and then we pass our image let's see how it works then we have the cv2 weight key which we set it to zero and then cv2 dot destroy all windows now if we run this it should show us the the image let me just bring it to you all right so this is the image we're going to work on and now so we have this image and now i uh to use media pipe what you need to do to give this image pass it through this uh, mp hand solution and then the mp hand under the hood uses deep learning to detect points uh, which is the 21 landmarks in the hand and then returns the image back to us then we can uh, use either media pipes drawing style to draw it or we can use our own OpenCV drawing techniques to draw something on it so let's see how we can pass or feed this image into media pipes hand solution Alright, so with MP hands, hands, then aesthetic image mood true. We set this mood to true because we use we are using a static image which is not a video, and then we use maximum hands, the number of hands that we aim to detect. If you want to like increase it, you can use three, four. If you have like uh, multiples hand in in the image, you can use that. Minimum tracking confidence. Media pipe framework tries to. Um, track based on that track do the next detection so if it is 50% uh, confident then we uh, let the media pipe to assume that it's a hand and uh, detect the uh, the landmarks on it and this is the in uh, initial confidence score for the detection like the first time that media pipes tries to detect we set this to 0.60% 0 0.6 .6, which basically means 60 percent that means if the media pipe the person's confident that it's a hand then it starts to detect it okay to because we're we're reading the image when we read image normally it is um, left and right because we are using the camera perspective to make it uh, similar to user perspective which is left should be on the left side we try to horizontally flip our image to do so we just say cv2 flip and then we say image that we have before and then we flip it by code one means flip horizontally and then we get this as an image back and we pass this to this hands solution so to do so we come to hands dot we have this process function from the hands and then we pass this since media pipe receives the image into rgb format okay so we give this image to media pipe and then we get the results all right so if you want to see the value of this result let me just print it out 
print results dot multi landmarks let's say multi handedness we have our hands process and then we Im image horizontal flip and we process process the image and then we try to print out and we're not going to show this for a while let's see what do we get all right we turn this off and then okay if we get none because it's not reading that so we have the image and then we have flip this problem we have to I think change this CV to convert color image and we say BGR CV2 BGR2 color BGR2 RGB then should work now okay let's see if it works and I'm going to reduce this to 3 to make sure that it detects okay cool so we have this classification index score that it detects it and the label that it gives to the hand which is uh, left to get the landmarks as previously like in the face mesh we do the for we say hand landmarks in results dot hand in results dot multi hand landmarks and then let's just print this hand landmarks hand landmarks okay and then yeah let's just comment this out want to get right of this and then see the hand landmarks if we come to this hand landmarks if you count it this is 21 hand landmarks defining the x y which is normalized alongside the width and height of the image and the z in here i believe it indicates the the distance the normalized distance between the hand and the camera kind of estimation uh, if you want to denormalize these values multiply it by the width and height of the, your image like multiply the x with the width of your image and multiply the y with the um, height of your image and you will get a denormalized value let's do that let's do this for one case only the fingertip and then we visualize that to see whether we can get that that coordinate on the tip or not all right to get the hand landmark of the tip or the tip of the finger we want to find the tip of the finger to do so we come and say um, finger tip x value is equal to hand landmarks dot landmark and in here we use the mp hands dot hand landmarks and then we use dot index fingertip okay index fingertip if I just zoom this out a little bit and in here we get this x value to so the x coordinate and this coordinate is denormalized so to duplicate this code command D and then we do the same for the y coordinate we come back and say this is also y and if I want to print this coordinate print let's say fingertip coordinate equals to <coughs> and this finger x fingertip y and then since we try to do it only for the fingertip it should print only one let's comment this out and then see the result a bit okay so we have this like this we have here while loop four and then we have this x and y value all right let's see this
the fingertip coordinate is this one. Now, this is a normalized value. To denormalize that, you have to get the image width and height. To do so, we give this image height and image width, and this the color channel from our image dot shape. So image this image shape returns the image height, width, and the channels of the image. And then we need to multiply this x with our image width, and then multiply this y with image height. So we can get the denormalized value. If I run this again, we are getting this coordinate, which is a pixel on our image. To visualize that, let's just draw a circle. I will say save it to draw circle and we pass our image we give the um, center point of the drawing um, which is the X and Y coordinates so we say fingertip X and fingertip Y and then we give it a radius of this point that we're trying to draw so I'm going to give it 6 and then I'm going to give it a thickness 4 and we're going to set a color for this drawing which I'm going to give it 255 0 and 0 this 25500 refers to RGB red, green, blue or I would say BGR because it's OpenCV blue, green and red let's run but before running since this value is floating point and CV2 circle the coordinate that it gets should be an integer to cast that to integer all you need to do just put this int function and then pass your value and this will cast this value to an integer value let's now show this and instead of showing the um, yeah so we can show this or we can return an annotated image all right let's just show this better than better than two I was like thinking to show two images but no need so this image is now went through the media pipe process the hand landmarks or joints are detected and from those 21 joints we took only the fingertip and then we use the CVT uh, or OpenCV circle feature uh, circle function to draw a circle on top of that point and then this image now has the that circle and we visualize it or display it on our screen let's do that okay let me just see all right cool so as you can see in here we have this fingertip of the image now if you want to show all the landmarks on the image let, we can do that too to do so just um, the easiest way is to uh, use media pipes drawing utilities this one drawing utilities to visualize that we can do that manually by using cv2 as well and the hood media pipe is also using cv2 to draw this like the same way i uh, i drew the the fingertip you can do that for the rest of the points as well and then join those points with a line but why would we go uh, with our own code while we have the code already available so let's use that code to do so we just come and say mp dot drawing and then we we say um, draw the landmarks okay let me just see why it's not working mp drawing and then draw landmarks and for this draw landmarks we pass our image image that we want to draw into it 
and to draw landmarks we pass our image the image that we want to draw onto it the landmarks and then we pass the if, if you when you write the code you see this kind of hints and it's provided by PyCharm or you, you, you just need to follow that and then pass the required fields so the next one is we have to give the hand landmarks which we have already in here for hand landmarks we pass it and then we can say let's say mp hands and then use the hand connections so we want to connect each joints that we detect let me just make it like this so that it would be visible to you and then we say mp drawing styles dot drawing specs okay so in here you can specify the drawing that you want for example you can specify the color let's say um, I'm going to go to a color of well if you notice that in previous example and in previous uh, visualization this coloring was in BGR format that's why we got this blue color so I'm going to give this a uh, combination of blue and red this time so I'll say 255 which is blue green would be 0 and then I would say 155 for, for the red and then I can specify a thickness for this drawing let's say 4 and then we run this now if I run it this way, this image now has both of these drawings from the CVT circle and this one. I'm not going to confuse you with that one, so I'll just comment this out. And one thing that you need to note, that when you use the Media Pipes drawing solution or utility, you don't need to worry about the denormalization or these kind of stuff because under the hood media pipe take care of uh, all this stuff so let's run and see whether it works or not if it doesn't work we will come and see to uh, how to debug that okay let's stop this first and then run it i think it run okay cool there we go. We have our hand and we have all these uh, landmarks onto it, which is a 25 landmarks. And then you see that I changed the color of each landmarks. If I want to change it to, let's say, a total uh, red, then I will just put this to zero and then run it again. Let me just stop this and then run this again okay let's see there we go we have all these landmarks in red color you can do even more with this like instead of using this draw speak you can even use uh, the default uh, drawing provided by media pipe and that is to use the MP drawing styles dot default hand landmarks. We can say get default hand landmarks style, and then we have this connection style as well, which we can say define drawing get connection style. So if you r run this piece of code, then it will give you this <coughs> default drawing style provided by MediaPipe. Let's run and see the result. Okay, I think I need to close this quickly. All right, there we go. We have this hand picture and then we drew the landmark on top of it. This hand is very straightforward, right? Like it's very easy. Now let's go to a little bit difficult hand, like how would whether the media pipe 
uh, uh, can handle a um, more difficult situation. All right, to do that for the next image, this image, a little bit more challenging image, we have to reduce the confidence score, minimum detection confidence score. We have to lower it down to 0 0.3 so that the media pipe would be able to detect this ha both hands. And then uh, the rest of the code is same. We didn't really change anything, as you can uh, you can see. Then common run it to run. Then you will get when you run this code, you will get uh, hand landmarks only for one hand. The reason for that is because we are using this wait key. The program awaits for our action. So to move on forward to detect landmarks for both hands all you need to do is press the uh, arrow key on the right or left and then we get the hand landmarks for both hands we're going to extend this to real time using video this is for a static image the concept is same everything is same just we feed our videos into the media pipes um, hand module and then we get that in real time and visualize it back Please stay tuned for that video as well. And if this video helps you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any question or if you have any comment, please write it down below in the comment section. I'll definitely come and check it out. Or if you're using MediaPipe's hand solution into your project and you're facing difficulties, please write it down in the comment section below. We'll come and uh, search to find a solution for that. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a good time. Thank you.